have chosen that to be at the thickness of the boundary layer. I it could would perfectly yeah. match. It would perfectly match. That's right. That's right. Actually, that's a that's a very good point. So, so I can, uh, I do think it's uh, it's probably also very natural, maybe more natural to instead of using y theta equal to one to use just the the displacement thickness, and we can actually calculate from this numerical solution what is the how does the displacement thickness compare to my choice of eta equal to one, right? So we can basically integrate all the area over here to figure out uh, how big is the how big is the displacement thickness delta relative to my y eta equal to one. By the way, the displacement thickness is uh, is the integral of streamline streamwise velocity minus the free stream velocity. Okay, uh, divided by the free stream velocity. So that's a. Uh, uh, so I'm going to write uh, delta is going to be equal to uh, integral of from 0 to infinity dy of 1 minus u divided by ue. All right. So let's do a numerical integration here. So we have plus years, and uh, uh, this is no, no longer one iteration. This is just a Newton's iteration. And uh, after I plot it, let's do a integrate to get uh, displacement thickness. So non-dimensional thickness. Yes, that's right. So I have my fp, that is my streamwise velocity, divided by or it's already divided by ue. Right, that's good. So I have just a one minus that is what we are trying to integrate. And uh, uh, what type of numerical method do we know about numerical integration? Trapezoidal rule. Can you tell me if I use trapezoidal rule to integrate this? What do I do? Let me say uh, d is equal to that. So how can I integrate d using trapezoidal rule? The eta, right? Yeah. In this case, I'm integrating. Yeah, right. So that is a way to integrate a function numerically. So uh, if I write it down in the space, uh, so what I'm doing is u minus over ue what I'm doing is uh, actually I'm so this is one I'm computing the D and I'm using small trapezoids to approximate the area above this curve all right so the area of the trapezoid is half of this plus this times d8 so so this is what I'm doing mm. Right. There, this is what I got. All right. So, so my displacement thickness is about one point two. Here, right? It's one point two. Uh, that is about one point two one six eight times, uh, where is it, times, uh, da, 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 times square root of that. Nu over theta ue. And if you like to use the flat plate x as opposed to theta, so it's this times square root of, so instead of 1 over theta, I have 2x new ue all right okay and uh, uh, and if you factor this square root of 2 uh, I think that's 
this is usually 1.72 is usually the number you see in literature when you uh, about the blastius boundary layer if you use the Reynolds number based on the chord length so so you take the square root of 2 multiply by with the 1.2 and what is rest is square root of uh, x nu divided by ue which is the Reynolds number based on the distance <coughs> to the leading edge right all right uh okay so let me 1.7208 so so it's actually square root of x nu ue which is uh, uh which is 1.2708 uh times do, 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 do. yeah i need to times x and then it's new developed by ue x so this is uh this is basically uh, one over square root of R E X, right? So that's uh, that's that's the formula you see usually see uh, in literature. All right. Any questions so far before we move to Faulkner scan equations? Uh, can, can I just look at the boundary layer? Yes. So the one point two one six eight is the eta. Right. Which. Um, which is like which is like over over here so so what what this means is that if you take the whole block right so so if you look at the total area under this 1.2 the area is going to be the same as this area over here so it's like the mass deficit thickness right. Right? yes that's like the mass deficit thickness yeah also called the displacement thickness yeah. so so the reason is displacement thick uh, the reason it's called displacement thickness is because we will we'll study this later is that if you if you think of oh i don't know what's happening okay so if you think of a streamline outside the boundary layer the streamline outside the boundary layer is going to be the same for two cases. One case is that you have a viscous flow with a boundary layer with a displacement thickness defined in this way to be a function of to be a certain function of x. The second case, the outside streamline is going to have the same streamline is is if I have an in viscous fluid with no boundary layer at all, but the wall is displaced by a certain delta y that is exactly the same as the displacement thickness of the boundary layer in the first case. So the outside streamline is going to be exactly the same for these two cases. And uh, that is going to provide basically the basis for our coupled boundary layer and in viscous flow solution we are going to study after we have a good handle of the, uh, of the boundary layer solutions.